All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Sitting over here in the Freedom Office, and I'm trying to find something that is interesting that we could share with the viewers over here, and I really think I hit a home run with this one because this is something that I have covered in the past. This comes to us from the guys over there at Complete Colorado, page two, a gentleman named Mike Rosen. The title to this article is Certain General Misleads on Gun Violence. They absolutely do. And it's interesting that they would say that because Biden's administration is a, a total joke, first of all, especially with freaking Kamala Harris. I was asking a friend of mine, I was like, how in the world did we get to this point? How did, in the world did we get to a point where we've got an individual who is an absolute moron who's going to be, well, you know what? I'm just going to say it. She's probably going to end up being a president. Michael Rosen goes on to say, in a July speech advocating for more stringent gun control, President Biden claimed that more children are killed by a bullet than any other cause of death. Now, we talked about this in previous videos. I don't know if anybody's catching on to it. But the whole thing is, from 20, uh, 2020 through 2023, Children, or what they call child death, have just skyrocketed. And there's a reason for that. I talked to a friend of mine, a police officer here in uh, where I live, and he's like, yeah, man, since COVID, it's, Jesus Christ, gang violence is what it is. And, you know, that's surely an alarming and tragic statistic, but a very misleading one, Michael goes on to say. The use of the word children is deceptive and mostly bringing to mind infants. And that's what I think of. It's like when somebody says child deaths, I'm thinking of individuals, you know, these kids. And, it, hey, man, it does happen where a kid gets a hold of a gun that's been loaded and, unfortunately, you know, puts around through another child. And that really is sick and it's tragic. But life itself is tragic. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to sit around and skew the facts to sell your gun control agenda. The use of the word children is deceptive, emotionally bringing to mind infants, toddlers, kindergartners. Legally, a child can be as old as 17 or even 20 in some states, including those with felony convictions and gangbangers in inner cities like Chicago. And I kept talking about this, like Chicago. And we talk about the differential and, and the and the and the death rates via gun per race. And I, I'm not trying to make this into a race thing, but what I am trying to do is called demographics. When you have gang violence, that's one of the things that's absolutely tragic in this country. According to a study by the Centers for Disease Control in 2022, black children and teens were 20 times as likely to die from a firearm homicides compared to their white counterparts. And the great majority of those deaths are black on black shootings by teenage gangsters, not little kids. And statistically, these kinds of diseases that fatally afflict the elderly in great numbers are rare among youngsters. What's the deal about the, this uh, Surgeon General Vivek Murthy, the Surgeon General of the United States, issued a public declaration that our country has experienced a gun violence crisis. Well, they are in certain neighborhoods. And unfortunately, that's just a fact. It is a fact and unfortunate. And it's so unfortunate that these kids have to resort to that kind of thing. And like I said, man, of time and time again, if you want to reduce uh, gun deaths in this country, get in there and do your job. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you get cities like Chicago where they just can do whatever they want. And it's a bad, bad thing. Suicides with the use of gun account for 56 percent of the gun deaths. But an act of violence is something you inflict on something else, not on yourself. And he goes on to say, you know, the other part of the reason why there's so many gun deaths is because of suicide. When prosecutors in, in Democrat-controlled states refuse to charge trespassers, rioters, petty criminals, and radical insurrectionists who construct illegal encampments and occupy buildings on college campuses, their crimes go unrecorded in the crime stats. The political activists who harassed and besieged the homes of conservative Supreme Court justices whose rulings they disagreed with violated federal law, but they were allowed to persist by politically motivated Democrat officials in Washington. I like this guy. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put the link down below, man, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm digging to what his whole thing. The Second Amendment, he goes on to say, protects an individual's right to bear arms for whatever reason he or she desires. Thank you, sir. While the number of guns in this country has more than doubled in the past 30 years. The decrease in the homicide rate over the period indicates that law-abiding citizens intend those guns for justifiable personal defense or deterrence, as well as for hunting and sporting shooting. Actual homicide rates have gone down. According to even Joe Biden's administration, these little turds, they're over there saying well, crime is down. Oh, but children are killing themselves and, you know, whatever. Although he wears quasi-naval uniform and carries the three-star rank of a vice admiral, the Surgeon General of the United States is not a seagoing admiral. As the nation's doctor, he's an administrator, not a practitioner. He doesn't make house calls. 
He's a bureaucrat. It's simple as that. Mike Rosen, this is an excellent article. I uh, probably will read some more of your stuff, but I do like the way you said in the immortal words of the Rear Admiral David Farragut, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. <laughs> yeah. So with that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. The administration lies like a rug. And it's sick to my stomach. It's KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and never done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless with men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Is freedom is not free. Hey, thanks very much for everybody who's supporting the channel by going in and checking out the campsite. I try to find the good deals. Actually, had a real good deal the other day with the uh, PSA's single-stage competition trigger, which really, really, really is one of the better ones. For $89, you can't go wrong. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.